Time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. Mr. Truck here with another truck accessory review. Today we're talking about Super Springs Sumo Springs. They're out of California. They've been making these things, I think, for about 10 years. I met them a long, long time ago at SEMA. And their main product then was a super spring. It's overload spring. You can see the shackle on each end. And that shackle went underneath your factory springs. So they sit on top of your springs, sometimes on top of your overload springs, or a spacer in the middle. And these nylon rollers on each end, as you would flatten the spring down from a load from a trailer, they would roll out and the spring would flatten. And you can see it's wider in the middle than on the end. So as it more weight got on it, more resistance was applied from the spring. And these were self-adjusting. They were great. They're still great. They still sell these. A lot of commercial vehicles, a lot of work trucks use these. And I used them for years. Very nice set of springs. And they would relax when you were empty. They would roll back up, lift back up with the nylon roller on your other spring, on your factory spring. And then you had a relaxed truck, the same kind of ride you started with. That was important, to have a self-adjusting spring. So anyway, now the new thing. Well, it's not new. They've had it probably for five years. And I've, I've sold them on RVs. So they're really cool, but sumo springs. Now I gotta have help with this description because it's not an easy thing to say. <laughs> this is microcellular urethane. So it's kind of like a super memory foam, but it's better than that. And the stuff is remarkable. This is just one of the many types. This is a black one. Each color has a different density of the, of the air that's trapped in the microfibers inside there. So if you want a super dense with less air, that's for more heavy duty applications. This kind of runs, works, this black one works for about everything. And then, uh, but there's a lot of applications, a lot of choices you have on how much support you want. Because what's well, like an overload in a can? <laughs> I didn't say it's a can. It's, this is heavy duty urethane. Now, this was actually developed by NASA, a really cool product. And the uh, Super Springs has always tested heavily with the Border Patrol. So, between San Diego and Laredo, Texas, they have also all the, the border patrols use their products. They use Super Springs for years, and now they're switching over and doing sumos. So a sumo is a little more flexible, a little better ride, and and they're you know they got a lifetime warranty on these puppies. But they're easy to mount. I've mounted one already, and this one uh, for my F-150 on 2018 has a spacer, and then you have this steel bracket. So you take off your old joist bump, bump stops and you replace it with this bracket and you put these on underneath that. And it sits on your axle. I'll show you pictures of that too. That's how that works. It all sits on your axle. So that absorbs the shock. And this can compress 80%. And if it depends on the application, it can actually expand 50%. So it actually will ride with your axle and, and cushion the reaction. Because that's what we did with Super Springs because it controls how fast or how much your axle and your springs move. So by that, it's like a big anti-sway bar with, you know, that knows what it's doing. So it actually will control wheel hop, which you get a lot of times on these trucks empty. And I have a lot of drag racer guys who buy them for that. And then there's, and then eliminates axle wrap. You know, axle wrap is when you're, you're hopping from a loaded trailer and you've got your pinion angle changes from all that movement of your axle and that makes a lot of noise and clanging and all that that's the axle the uh, the axle wrap and this eliminates all that so what it is it's just like a smart overload springs and that's what the sumo spring does now we're also going to put them on the front of this truck this is you can see what that is that's a coil and it's uh made out of their their special product the special super dense heavy duty memory foam and this goes like in the middle of a coil spring and it has slots on top and bottom so it'll actually wrap around the coil and this controls the front and the reason you need to control the front is you get the back controlled with the sumo springs on the back or the super springs so you got that under control really working well with the trailers but on a bumper pull you know you got a teeter-totter you got a trailer on the back pushing down and of course pushing that down makes the front go up a little 
So if you have these front sumo springs, it'll control how much movement the front has. So instead of you be bouncing forward and back as a teeter-totter because of your trailer, it won't do that. So you'll have better control of the front. That's what these products are all about is better ride, better control, better trailering ability and safer trailering ability. And that's what I like about them. You know I me, mean? I'm in the trailers. But that is how all that works. I've got one on. I'm going to put the other one on the back. We're going to test it on some trailers and see how it works. And let me see if there's any other big words I forgot. But, uh, of course, you know, that I've always said that super springs are better than airbags. Now I can say that about sumo springs. Better than airbags because you don't have to worry about a compressor or airlines or air leaks or any of that stuff. And it self-adjusts where an airbag, some of them do, some of them don't. But I, I've got a friend at Super Springs. He has them on his truck, and he's taken the sumo springs off and shot holes in the darn thing and stabbed it, did all kinds of things. You know, I thought he was working for the World Wide Wrestling Federation or something. But anyway, he beat the tar out of it, put it back on his truck, and it rides the same. This stuff is, I don't know if you call it bulletproof, but it's really great stuff. It'll absorb, you know, the rocks can hit it, the mud can hit it, all the stuff underneath your truck, which is pretty gross stuff. When you look at it, when you're going through a cow pasture or wherever you're going, and these don't get hurt. Lifetime warranty. So that is awesome about them. But it's actually a pretty quick install. You just take your wrench in and when you're doing that, you know how Ford is. They love that blue Loctite. So you take your handy long, great big breaker bar to break that stuff loose, to take the, the joist bump stops off. Because they're on there solid, just like any of the leaf spring components, any of the underneath components. Ford puts that blue Loctite on them and they are made to stay. So I use this to take it off and then I can use a regular wrench to put it on. But here's the joist, the bump stop that's normally on this truck. And that puppy sits there and this goes under your axle. And that's how that works. And you basically really got to be like overloaded to get that actually to hit to do any good. Right now it just kind of hangs in the air. I mean, I just loaded the trailer yesterday to 12,800 pounds, which is the most my truck will tow. That's maximum. And I had 1,100 and some pound payload. And this was a long ways from the axle. So this was, this, you know, I guess if you really are airborne and chasing coyotes and jumping in the air, it might eventually hit the, hit the axle. But usually these are useless. They don't really do anything unless you're so overloaded that, you know, your truck is aiming in the air. So I don't usually get in that predicament. But I've taken one off, have one sumo spring installed. I'm going to do the front coils. Then I'm going to go out and pull 12,800 pounds and see if I can feel the difference and how it handles. I drove it yesterday, so I'll drive it today and see where it comes in at. But yeah, there's no maintenance on these, and which is what I like. You know, we, nobody likes to work on stuff, and that's kind of how that is. You want to just get, install it and go. You don't want to have to think about it or adjust it or, you know, do any of the messing with it. So you eliminate the sagging with the trailer. You eliminate the control issues and how much the truck moves because it does move under load and empty. You know, the trucks, they're, it's not a piece of brick. They move around, you wanna be able to control that movement. So that's what the Sumo Springs do. They stabilize it, they enhance your load carrying ability, and then you get the improved, the improved control and comfort. That's what I like about it. So, you know, and then being not having to worry about it getting hurt or tearing off or getting beat up underneath, because, you know, we go through a lot of rocks and a lot of pastures and you always got sagebrush scraping up underneath there. That's why I always get the skid plate package like this has the FX4 package. But you want to be able to do that. And if it can compress to 80% and then come right back, it's like memory foam. It goes right back to where it was. Really great stuff. And, you know, you got to figure out what density one you need, how much air bubbles you need, and how much the, the uh, micro, micro, uh, <laughs> the microcellular urethane. Because that's what it is. It's a urethane. And you want to be able to get that uh, microcellular urethane uh, density, uh, you, you pick between the three different levels of it. So how much air you have in it and in the, that's in captured in the micro bubbles and in how much of the actual urethane you have. So that's how you decide which one to get. And then uh, you see what it's like and how stable it is. And again, now I can say I like super springs. When I get done, we'll see if I can say that I like sumo springs, but better than airbags, because that's the other option. And so it's nice to have something you're never going to worry about, have a puncture in an airbag, never worrying about a compressor, never worrying about an airline. I mean, I, I, I'm a fan of air, air suspensions, but too, if I can find something that's better to replace it, that's what I do. 
So come join us for the review. We're going to head to the mountains, pull some big trailers, and see just how well the Sumo Springs change the ride of my truck and the control of my truck. Mr. Trek here with the latest and greatest in trailer accessory review. This time it's Shocker Hitch. They've got an airbag cushion for your gooseneck, an airbag cushion for your bumper pull. Isolates the truck from the trailer. Great products. You know, the truck and trailer almost joined together. That ball's pretty solid, so you get to feel each other. But you want to isolate that. You don't really want to drive in the truck and film what the trailer's feeling. Your horses probably don't want to feel what your truck's doing. This way they're separate. And it makes them ride better, makes it quieter, makes a better cushion between the two. And you know, you're talking about living quarters and all those things that go on the front of a horse trailer, you know, with the glued in cabinets and the mirrors and all that. You want to soften that ride in the nose of that trailer. And that's what this does. Great product made in North Dakota. And there's the old joist stop. Joist stops bolted to the frame and it someday will contact the axle maybe. It's a long ways to go. And this has the max tow package. So it's got, it's jacked up in here on the back a bit. So I'm not so sure I could ever get the factory joist stop to actually contact the axle where Sumo Springs will contact it with a light load and give you some stability that way. So we're gonna find out. I'm gonna install this side next. Okay, there's the Sumo Spring. So I just replaced the joist, the joist stop from the hook to the frame and it was just hanging in the air and now I've got my Sumo Spring and it's almost touching the axle empty. So it'll make contact right away and help slow down the action of that spring. So we'll see if it gives us a smoother ride but there is the left rear, driver's side rear, installed. Easy to do, doesn't take long at all. You know, it takes probably 15 minutes a side, which is very, very good. So there it is, all hooked to the frame, bolted in place, and now I'm ready for action. Here I have a camera on my truck watching the suspension move. You can see that it never does come in contact with that joust stop, the bump stop. And you can see how fast the springs are reacting here to the movement. And we're pulling a big trailer. It's 12,800, and we're doing this on a rough road. So this kind of demonstrates how quick and how fast that axle moves, the springs move. Uh, with just the normal suspension that came with this truck. You can see the little spacer that came with the max tow package on this F-150. And here is the Sumo Spring. Of course, it comes in contact the whole time you're loaded uh, with the trailer. And, you know, and this is that same rough road. And you can see the reaction is a little slower. It doesn't move quite as fast or as jerky as what the, the basic factory suspension does. So this is where the improvement comes from. And you can feel it driving it. That was a big trailer. I'm at maximum capacity of this truck at 12,800. And it, uh, you know, it, it felt smoother. It felt uh, more solid, you know, left and right with, uh, with the movement you would have. So it tracked really well. But I thought it was an improvement in just the, how the ride felt. And that's what I was looking for. So this is the rear. This is the rear axle. Next, we're going to do the front. Now here's the front sumo spring that's going to go around the coil. So it's going to install those. It took about a half hour on each side using a screwdriver and lubricating up weld and let it just spin around on the coil to right. Make button. sure. Yeah, it's in there. Oh, good. I just got to keep twisting it and pushing that down. Yeah. Cool. Well, you're making progress, huh? Now this one's just about all done. We had to trim one edge off to make everything fit. Oh, now 
start selling these, we'll have a, a training film. Right. Owls. Look at that, Eric got it done. Now I've got sumo springs on spring coil one, two, and three. Now we gotta test this puppy. Now here's the front coil springs without the sumo springs on it. Still with that same 12,800 pound trailer on a very rough ride. You can see how fast this coil is moving. It's you know absorbing the shocks, doing what the suspension's supposed to do. It's just doing it pretty fast. So that's the whole goal of the sumo spring is to control the reaction of the coil, just like it controls the reaction of the leaf spring on the back. And we did this, oh, it's was, it was probably, gosh, a couple miles long, about 40 miles an hour. But uh, this is what it looks like. We stuck the cameras underneath there on the frame, so they're attached to the chassis and not the suspension. Now we can just see exactly what the suspension does as it moves through the, uh, the stroke there. Now here's that same front axle with the sumo springs on there. You notice it quiets it down a bit. So it's not bouncing as much, and you can tell it in the cab. You can tell it with your seat dyno just how much it's moving and how jerky it is. And this is a better ride with the sumos on the coils. So now we've got uh, some uh, improvement to the suspension, and we're not going to have the teeter totter, the uh, the porpoising action we call it in our V industry, where it's dipping and diving because that back trailer, as a bumper pull, as a conventional trailer, is pushing down on your receiver hitch on the back end so that's naturally going to make the front go up because you know you got a big cantilever lever there whatever you want to call it of leverage and you're trying to you know control that leverage so it doesn't move as fast and this is what the sumo does good test for the suspension and i got the sumo springs on here so it's you know helping me with the lean and a few other things up here, going up to 8,000 feet on 8% grades. Actually, not squatting. Then I also, then I have the sumo springs on here, which you know won't let me squat hardly at all. It's really keeping this thing up. It's doing really well. It looks very level, but it's not uh, not letting me squat 